In our last video, we showed all the basics of using Geobox to set up a regular shape video wall. You might be curious about what other possibilities you'll have with Geobox video wall controller. In this video, we will demonstrate some advanced settings, including displaying multiple inputs on video wall, aspect ratio adjustment, and adding PIP or pop on the entire video wall. Geobox model G406 and G408 allow you to play multiple inputs on the video wall. The example here is to display two signal sources on this 3x1 video wall. With Geobox, there is no need to use any PC software, so we start from connecting all the input and output cables. We have one source from laptop and the other from media player. They are both connected into the HDMI input ports, and three outputs are connected to three monitors. No specific connection sequence required here. By the way, a larger video wall can be created by cascading multiple Geobox through HDMI loopout. Now we have laptop signal showing on two monitors, and media player signal on another monitor. You can identify the input source for each monitor through OSD menu. I firstly rotate the image of each monitor to 270 degree. Image aspect ratio can be adjusted to full screen or original through the setting in scaling menu under image property. Aspect ratio can also be changed flexibly by adjusting the overlap value. Image aspect ratio can be changed for each monitor. Now, the video wall is playing live video from laptop on two monitors on the left and video from media player on the right. Showing picture in picture or so-called multiple views on video wall can't be easier by adding one G901 front end processor in front of the video wall controller. We connect two signal sources to the inputs of G901 and connect the output from G901 to video wall controller input. Three outputs of video wall controller are connected to each monitor. With all the video wall settings configured earlier through our video wall controller, we can directly go to the PIP setting menu of G901 and choose the display format we need. I firstly choose the format of PIP. PIP image starts to show up at upper left corner. Through PIP menu, all the parameters of PIP image can be adjusted at real time, that's including location, size, aspect ratio, orientation, and input source selection. Now I am changing the format into another type, which is side-by-side -side pop. Aspect ratio of each picture can be adjusted. Next, I am changing to another type of pop, top to bottom, again, aspect ratio of each image can be adjusted as needed. When we've done with the display mode setting, we can save the setting into profile, each controller can memorize up to five profiles. Now, I am showing switching between three display setting profiles that I saved earlier. Thanks for watching. Feel free to visit our website for more detail. In our next video, I am going to show you how I configure a regular video wall without using PC software.